In and out, that's what a hamburger is all about. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and today we're gonna make an in and out burger animal style. Well, before we make it, we need to know what's in it because we need to be very accurate with the way we create it. I just got this at my local In-N-Out burger. It is a double-double burger. This is how it comes wrapped. Well, I'm not gonna rewrap it, but I'm gonna unwrap it so we can see what's on the inside. Bun and cheese that sticks to the burger. I believe it has some toasted on the bun. That's good to know. I don't see any of the little dressing they have. That's their secret sauce. A hamburger patty that's about three inches in diameter cheese in the middle, and I think these are grilled onions. I believe so. Next layer, I see mustard there. One of the secrets in an animal style burger is they cook mustard on their burgers when they're cooking it. We have a piece of lettuce, a tomato, that's a big beefsteak tomato. That's what I'd call that variety. One, two, three, four pickles, and underneath the pickles is a whole lot of that dressing that In-N-Out's known for in their animal style burgers and a toasted bun. The onions on the burger appear to be diced. So you need to dice some onions into little pieces because we want to recreate just how In-N-Out does it. So into a hot pan on a barbecue, I am putting in oil and butter and the onions and stir them up. I have my grill on high, but it's time to turn it down. That is one hot skillet. It is such a hot day, it's the middle of summer. I like to cook outside, and I like to turn on my evaporated cooler to keep me cool. It's very refreshing. Give them a little salt and stir them up. These are done, let's take them out. We want them on deck for when they're needed for a burger. So put down the lid and turn your grill back on high. We gotta taste the sauce and make the sauce. Who guesses this is Thousand Island dressing? And their recipe is a little different than many recipes out there. And let me tell you what I think it is. Three tablespoons mayonnaise, one tablespoon ketchup, one half teaspoon yellow prepared mustard, and two teaspoons sweet pickle relish, one pinch of cayenne pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of paprika and mix it up. One of the ways In-N-Out's dressing is different than others is they have a lot of that sweet pickled relish in there. So I think I matched the color pretty well. Let's see if I match the taste. I think I nailed it. Now put the dressing aside for later use. It appears to me that the size of an In-N-Out burger is one eighth a pound. This is one half pound of ground beef, which is 27% fat and 73% beef. I believe In-N-Out uses 70% beef and 30% fat, but this is as close as I could get. So two patties would be one quarter of a pound, so I'm gonna break this in half. And I'm breaking that in half again, so that each of these patties are gonna be one eighth a pound. And spread them out on wax paper or parchment paper and then press them with the bottom of a pie plate to get them round. These are gonna shrink up to be about one half the size once they're cooked. Down she goes and keep squishing. Voila. And then season them with salt and pepper. And so they don't seize up and make them into little golf balls. Put in a dimple in the center of each of them. There you go. I like to add a little oil to the pan and then add your burgers. And number two, and a trademark to the animal cell burger is having mustard on it. So put your mustard on it while it cooks. That only needs to cook for three minutes. Time for the flip. Oh yeah. Drizzle, 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 drool. Put that mustard all over it. Time for us to go to cooking school. And then put your cheese on it. I'm using American cheese and two slices thick because I want it to have a little girth. And down goes the bun because I want to toast them. Put a lid on it. They're done, chum. So take off your buns. 
time to add a lot of our dressing. Oh yeah, and your patties. Here comes burger one. Time for the onions. That goes in the center. And now for the next patty, right on top of those onions. So add your tomato, your lettuce next. I'm gonna give a bigger tomato and a little more of that lettuce just for health purposes. And I'm adding more of that dressing and four pickles. I think I did pretty good on the way it all matched up. The burgers look pretty similar, but time for the bite. That's the true test. <sighs> oh, wow. I'm in heaven and that really does taste like an in and out. But let me double check. <sighs> Yum. I think I nailed it. I received this Honeywell evaporative cooler for this review, just in time for this hot recipe, because they make an amazing evaporative cooler that will cool down my whole entire balcony and barbecue area at my house. It's industrial for a big area. On hot days, I love to cook outside and love to entertain outside because I don't want my kitchen heating up my whole house. This evaporative cooler makes it nice so my whole party is great and cool from me cooking on the barbecue to all my friends enjoying what i make who knew you could cook a hot burger on a hot day on a hot barbecue and be cool all around you this evaporative cooler has three different speeds so you can have high medium and low and that high really makes your hair blow honeywell evaporative coolers are great if you're in a hot dry climate this cooler is so much more efficient than an air conditioner. You will save so much on your energy costs. The fan pushes air across all the water inside of it, giving you a much cooler temperature in your room or outdoor setting. This cooler may look really large, but it's really lightweight and it also runs on wheels. Click the link below and check in the Honeywell evaporative coolers. They got them all sizes. You don't have to have a big, huge yard or a big, huge deck. You can have them from the inside of your houses too. They're awesome. I'm Rebecca Brand. Subscribe to my channel and let's keep making great recipes in life. Like a recipe for a great burger on a really hot summer day. <laughs> in and out, in and out. That's what a hamburger is all about.